Hi, welcome back to my channel. I think part of loving ourselves is taking care of our body, taking care of our skin. So today we're going to be talking about shea butter. Unfortunately, I have very sensitive skin, so I can't wear anything that has any chemicals, any sunscreen protection lotion, or any makeup that it's not made up 100% natural ingredients. Because if I do, I develop a rash and a very bad skin irritation. So, um, I've been using shea butter for more than 10 years now. I use it on my lips in the winter. I use it on my hair when it's very dry. I use it every morning before applying makeup. I use it at night after I take a shower. And if you want to learn about how I make shea butter from scratch, all the ingredients that I use, and where I buy the shea butter from, I'll make sure to watch the end of this video where I'm going to be talking about the, all the benefits and healing properties that shea butter has. And if you want more information about shea butter, I'll make sure to check out my blog, which is The Magic of Self Love. Make sure to subscribe, make sure to comment, and ask me any questions that you have. So let's get started. Okay, so here we have 32 ounces of raw, unrefined shea butter. I get mine from Amazon. I have more information in the description box. And as you can see, we place the contents on a double boiler. And make sure that you have it in a very, very low heat. I'm going to show you how underneath we have the water, as you can see. And now for the ingredients. We have the superfood facial oil. We have castor oil. Our essential oil. Rose hip oil and our coconut, avocado, and olive oil. And we're gonna be using glass jars. I prefer using glass jars because they're chemical free and they're eco friendly. Okay, so we're gonna start by using the coconut oil, and I use four full spoons of coconut oil, and preferably the best kind of coconut oil is cold pressed and unrefined. Then we're gonna add the olive oil, and I use 10 tablespoons. Then we're gonna be adding 10 tablespoons of avocado oil as well. Then I'm adding um, our castor oil and I use from 20 to 25 drops. And then we're adding five drops of our superfood facial oil and 20 to 25 drops of our rose hip oil. And lastly, we're adding 20 drops of our essential oil. We make sure everything's mixed. Okay, so we place the liquid in a glass jar and we're going to let it sit for a few hours. And um, I would like to mention that I love to use these kind of lids because I feel it keeps it secure and safely sealed. So after the we let it sit. We're going to place it in the fridge for a few hours until it's solid. So now finally it's solid. And now we're going to talk about some of the benefits of shea butter. First, it's anti-inflammatory, anti-aging. It's extremely moisturizing. It prevents and treats stretch marks. And it has a natural small amount of UV protection. So now I'm going to place my finger so you could see how oily and soft it is. And as soon as you put it on your skin, it, the skin will completely absorb it. And leave you with a smooth and a creamy sensation. So this is all for my shea butter recipe. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you comment below and subscribe.